It's something John Mitchell did, an astronomer from way back centuries ago. He said, suppose I had a star that has such high gravity that light traveling at the speed of light is insufficient to escape. If that were the case, the star would just darken and contain all the light that it wanted to generate. And he called this a dark star hypothesis. This, it turns out, to do the calculation correctly, requires Einstein's equations, not classical equations of Newton, which he used. It requires Einstein's equations to get the correct right answer. But when you do this, you have what we call a black hole. We have examples of black hole in the galaxy. No, you can't see them directly because there's no light coming from them, as you would suspect. Sometimes you can see distortion of the fabric of space and time in their vicinity. So the star field behind them gets distorted. You say, uh-oh, make a left instead of going straight in because you don't want to get sucked into the black hole, drawn into its gravity. But the most common way we find black holes is when they eat. They flay stars and gas clouds that come near them, and it spirals down, gets hotter and hotter and hotter, and before it enters, it radiates brightly in ultraviolet and x-rays.